my name's Molly. I'm going to give it a few minutes and hopefully we'll have some folks join us. We are getting started with our camp in, camp out. And it's a beautiful day. So again, my name's Molly. I'm going to welcome everybody to our event. Thank you for coming. Girl Scouts, families, friends, this event's for everybody and we are very excited to have you join us. So I'm going to give it just a minute. I'm going to double check. Everything's good. So again, my name's Molly. I'm with Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline. I'm coming to you from Roanoke, Virginia today. It's beautiful. We are getting started for our Camp In, Camp Out event. Um, so we hope you'll join us. We're starting right now and we've got events all the way up until the big event, which starts at 5.30. Um, our Camp In, Camp Out Zoom call. So you need to register if you want to be involved on that Zoom. Um, but again, we've got lots of virtual programs um, the rest of the afternoon, tons of stuff for all ages. So I hope you'll join us. Um, I'm going to get started in just a minute here setting up my tent. You may be able to see it um, behind me. I'm camping out tonight in my backyard. Um, again, you can camp in or camp out. If you're camping in, we've also got um, demonstrations on setting up your own um, fort in your house or a lean-to. So lots of good stuff coming at you. Again, 5.30 is when the big event, the big camp in, camp out Zoom call starts, so you wanna register for that. Uh, but I think we've got a few people with us, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I want to let you know first that this event, the whole Camp In, Camp Out, is brought to you by our virtual subscription boxes. Um, so our council, Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline, has virtual subscription boxes that we're offering this summer. Um, this first one, the month of June, was a backyard summer camp, so obviously Camp In, Camp Out. But there's also, you may not be familiar, there's two more boxes every month. There's going to be a leader professional development box and a Girl Scout Basics box that's um, got a lot of good stuff for new or non-members. It's a way to test drive Girl Scouts and try it out. Um, so if you haven't checked out all those boxes, please do so. They are wonderful, wonderful things. Um, we've also got two more coming out for the rest of the summer. So for the program box, the Backyard Summer Camp was our June box. July is going to be STEM at Home. and. August is Community Caring. So again, lots of great programs um, for all ages, and we hope you join us. Um, you can find information about those on our website um, or on our Facebook. So please join, we would love that. Um, so I'm gonna get started setting up my tent in just a second here. One last thing I do wanna say, um, if you are a member with us, if you're a Girl Scout with us, thank you so much for being a part of our council. We love you and we're so happy that you're a member. Please don't forget to renew. We are currently in our early bird um, renewal period, so please do that. It's the perfect time. If you're not yet a member, please consider joining. We would love to have you. We have so many wonderful programs, and um, we just want you to know it's a crazy time right now, but we Girl Scouts are here for you. So we're not going anywhere. We really hope you'll join us. Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to fiddle with the camera just to make sure you can see what I'm working on, and then we'll get started. All right, so there's my tent. I went ahead and I've already set up three of the four corners are already staked down, but I'm gonna stake my last corner down. If this is your first time setting up a tent in the backyard, um, I'm gonna give you some tips, but every tent is a little different. So maybe find, um, have an adult or a friend help you because it could be a little tricky if it's your first time. So I'm gonna stake down the last corner of my tent. And then my next step is going to be putting the poles on it. So if you have a tent, you probably have tent poles that are pretty similar to this. When you set up your tent, you want to just um, put the poles together slowly. Mine have an elastic in the middle of them, and so they kind of pop together on their own. But you just want to be careful that you do it slowly. And then as you make them, they're going to get real long. makes just one long pole that's already all connected to each other which is really convenient sometimes you're gonna have multiple separate pieces to put together but 
again, every tint's a little different. I do have one more pull, it's just a short little pull, so I'm going to put that in. It goes up to the top, because you can tell there's still a bit of flexiness. Okay, so I'm going to put that up here. And clip my last two pieces. And we're done! One thing I will mention is normally I would recommend um, using your rain fly. So this tent comes with a rain fly that goes over top and protects you from the rain. Because obviously this is all mesh in here. I'm not going to do that though because I'm backyard camping and that's the fun of it is I don't have to be scared of rain because if it does, I'll just go inside. So I'm going to leave it open until I can have a nice breeze and maybe see some stars. So. I'm going to open the door and do my last bit, which is putting in my comfy mattress. And it's real big, but it's going to make it real nice tonight. I don't want bugs flying in there, but as you can see, I'm all set up for my backyard camp out tonight. Um, I'll also mention the benefit of backyard camping is you can be as comfy as you want. So I'm actually going to do a few more things to jazz my tent up. Um, I'm going to end this video now. There's a few more coming and when I'm back, You'll see all the jazzed up mess. <laughs> Thanks for joining.